Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Hello! Uh, we're going to fancy up the Tim Holtz journal cover today and I'm going to be doing a cover, once again, completely new for me, a different way of doing it. Um, I want to do something pretty, <laughs> which is not new. Uh, I want to do something collage -y, which is new. So I have raided a whole bunch of things from my Tim Holtz folder. I've got um, pieces of Tim Holtz uh, paper scraps. I've got ribbons and laces. Um, I've got little pieces of Tim Holtz ephemera. Just a whole assortment of different things. And I have a vague idea how I want it to look. Um, but... It's one of those, because it's a collage, it will be a bit of trial and error to get to the point that we want it to be. So the first thing is that I would really like to have a bit of lace peeking out from um, underneath the different paper layers. Um, so I'm just gonna put that down and shall we just start figuring out what we're doing. So obviously I can't have anything in the way of my two rings. So it might be that I need to cut the lace into little pieces or something. I'm not entirely sure. But let's just uh let's just yeah, pop some things down and and see what happens really. So I've got yeah, some paper scraps. I was thinking this little vellum piece could go on top of this tag and I'm trying to go with a kind of ladylike um, elegant lady scrapbook type thing um, because that's kind of how the vibe for this journal has gone um, and I also want it to look yeah, kind of like, yeah, if she was to scrapbook the cover, what would it look like-ish? Um, use up some of these scraps in the process. So, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm very excited to be at this stage of the journal. It's, uh, it feels very strange because normally uh, I'm just cutting this down so it's a bit neater. Normally um, I do the covers first <laughs> and so uh, this is the very first time I'm doing the cover last. Um, I don't know why I did the cover last. Uh, I think it's just because I was umming and ahhing about what I wanted for a long time or what feels like a long time and it was because I didn't have a I think I explained this in the last video, but it's because I didn't really have a story that I was trying to tell when I started the journal. I was just going with, oh, well, these Tim Holtz papers are pretty and I want to use them. And and that was it, you know. Um, and as I say, nothing wrong with that. But just for me, it, uh, it stumped my creativity a little bit. Um, especially for the cover, because for me, the cover is one of the important parts Obviously you want the inside to look beautiful and uh, be how you like it and everything but the cover is that first glimpse of the story and how how you want it to be like is is kind of what I, I think. Can you see all that? Yeah, just about. It's a big a big cover, so <laughs> um I've got this check from the nineteen thirties. I'm thinking Slip that in somewhere, maybe. Maybe if I move that up and then have this, this there or something. Mm -hmm. Um, do we want any more scraps? Kind of want to echo this color a little bit. This is the other side of that. So if I shove that under there, maybe. 
shove. That's not very ladylike word, Justy. Um, it's going to take a little bit more off here. So yeah, the idea is just for all these different layers, which I've never, I've never done a cover like this before, where it's just yeah, very different for me. Yeah, I'm thinking if we do that, maybe, or have we got a better blue scrap? No, that one's fine. Um, and then what I was thinking as well is, so I've got this, I think it's seam binding, but it's vintage and it's, it's basically just plain white and really strong and it's essentially like some ribbon and I thought that could be our closure and what I was thinking was I have got this really elegant vintage brooch because I was looking at all of like the collaging that I wanted to do and I felt like I needed a focal point. Now, ordinarily, you would have a focal point that was, say, a, um, a, a person would maybe be a focal point. Um, people freak me out. Um, so I thought, let's find something else instead that still goes with what we're trying to achieve. So what do we think to this vintage brooch being the focal point? I don't want to cover up this pound symbol, so if we move that up, like that, then we could have that be in the middle, and then this be the closure, that would be nice. Um, and then I had little bits that we might want to include. Um, I think I did also want to put some buttons on. Let me see, I've got some vintage buttons here, which for me says, you know, lady scrapbook thing, because you get like button cards in the olden days and stuff like that, which I thought could be interesting. That one's pretty, it's got a flower on it. So maybe we could have them here. I don't know what I'm doing with this string, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we could have them... Three is a nice number, I think. We could have them in size order. Or we could have... Oh yeah, it's maybe a bit better. Sorry if you can hear my neighbours outside, by the way. They're a bit noisy. Maybe something like that. And then I've got extra buttons. Should we maybe have button uh, mm, no. I'm just wondering whether to like mirror this somehow down here, but I don't know if that becomes too much maybe. Hold off on those for now. I've got a bit here that I kind of want to cover up, um, but I don't think I want to use tiny, tiny pieces being the cover. Um, I've got some more b blue or... Could maybe have one of these little scraps or something. See how that looks poked poked under there just because it ends suddenly so I'm just trying to like mold all of the layers in together kind of a thing maybe it's going to be pain to glue down isn't it I'll probably do some gluing and also do some stitching I imagine so that it's all down nicely And then, kind of thinking that bow looks nice there. Again, just to keep it nice and soft. Let 
very noisy lorries <laughs> going past today. So I really like that, I think. Um, I do feel like I want to have some lace here and here, but I can just take it from the off cuts. I really hope you can see all that. <laughs> it looks a bit of a mess now, but it, it will come together. Um, but I do feel like maybe we want something here. Um, you know, I, I know I don't want a book plate because I don't want to distract from the focal point in the middle. But I'm thinking what we could make is maybe a little scrappy button cluster. And I might see what that will look like. And then that way we can bring the buttons down here a bit because I do feel like maybe we do want some more buttons. Possibly there would be nice. What do you think? I got out lots of scraps but I feel like um, that's a good amount on there because I don't want lots of little, little, little bits because I'm going to have to glue all these down and um, probably do some sewing. So what do we do next? <laughs> um, this is hard, isn't it? Because I could just get them glued down onto the cover, but obviously I do want to stitch everything. So what I'm going to have to do is lift that up. I'm going to have to... Um, <laughs> it's, oh, that's a good question. What are you going to do, Justine? Um, I need to cut the lace down, don't I? So let's, let's just do that. I can always, once it's actually glued down onto the cover, I can trim it up a bit neater. But for now, we just want to, to get that done. So let's um, just take this part off. This is going to be such a beautiful cover, but I'm not going to lie, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a pain to to do it, but I think it will be worth it. So I'm happy to to take the time and to do that. Um, okay, now I have to remember I'm going to have book corners. Well, I was planning on having book corners, but of course maybe it's not necessary anymore because we've covered this so much we'll have to see um i don't want to obviously i can't cover up the where the rings are going to go but i just feel like we want some more some more lace so oops. what if i cut that i don't know what this will look like you know I don't want it to look like I've just, you know, joined on some lace. Or maybe we just go with the idea that we like that curve. Um, maybe. Maybe we like the curve because it's, it's helpful for the book rings, isn't it? So maybe you could argue if, you know, if I had been an elegant lady making this cover, well, I probably would have just, yeah, tried to to do that and I suppose once you've got the book rings I mean there's going to be hmm. I'm just going to see whether no I don't want to put little bits on um, I don't know if we can maybe we'll just yeah we'll go with what we've got here Right, so what we're doing, <laughs> not a tutorial as per usual, a very much figure it out Justine, what are you doing? So I need to get all of the pieces glued onto the lace, that much I do know, um, so that I can, yeah, build it up and, and stitch things. Um, like for example, I can stitch the buttons onto the lace, can't I? 
or would I just glue the buttons on? No, I think I'd prefer to stitch them and then I know that they're definitely on there. And then this can just be glued on when I'm finished. Yep, <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, I don't need this, this piece, I'll take that off. I like I like how that's all looking so that's fine right I think Justine what you're doing um so I think I'm going to get a needle and thread and I'm going to stitch the flower so uh, I'll be back in two secs all right change of plan because the buttons and the flowers are just extra embellishments so let's remove those for now I'm putting them in the order that I liked them so <laughs> Don't move. That's an extra embellishment because all of this is just paper, isn't it? So we can get these inked up and glued onto the lace how I like them. I just don't want to glue them onto the cover. So I have to be careful in that respect that um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to suddenly glue them down before I Oh, I want them glued down. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay, right, let's, um, I'm just going to tear this slightly. Uh, I'm tearing it backwards to get rid of that white, that whiteness. Because I don't want to ink it really heavily, because that's not me. That is not my style. Okay. So, then... <laughs> This is a really hard cover. Um, yee. I just, I, I want to get to the bottom, but I don't want to lose. I will just, just do it, Justin. Right, okay. <laughs> All right. This will be, yeah, it'll be a lot of inking and gluing and figuring things out, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay. I think it's going to look really, really pretty when we are done. Now I don't think you'll see this bit, but I'm going to ink it just in case you get like a glimpse of it, you know. All right. Okay, so if we say the lace will be like this, do we want this to be I'm just trying to decide whether I want this pointy edge or or not. Okay, let's let's go there. Right. Made a decision. So, I think what I will do is I'll get the papers stuck onto this piece first. That's what we'll do. And I'm not having torn edges everywhere because, in my opinion, an elegant lady who was just doing a bit of collage wouldn't fuss about such things. I feel like she would just glue things on, wouldn't she? Or, or, or something. <laughs> right, right? <laughs> you see where I'm coming from? You know, she wouldn't matter that that's just a rectangle scrap or something. She would just, she would just do it. So... I want to get this glued on here. Now that is a very white tag. So I'm trying to decide, maybe I could do some stenciling or, or something Oops. on it. You know, I don't mind white. I don't think we have a problem with white in our journals, personally. And then I'm going to cut this string down because I don't think I want as much string as that. Um, okay. yeah, I hope you'll I hope you'll get something from this video. As I say, I'm just um making it up quite frankly I'm just making it up how do we want no 
yeah I think I think I like it staggered like that but I think I want the tag to be over here a bit more yeah I like that you get all the different layers right so let's um uh, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac because even though I'm going to stitch, I'm not going to stitch everything. In truth, I have no idea what I'm actually going to stitch on this cover. I do not have a clue and I probably won't know until I'm at the sewing machine. So what I'm thinking is if I get everything glued, yeah, just get the, the layers glued well, then if I don't end up stitching everything, then it's fine. But obviously I don't want to glue it onto the cover yet, so um, I've just got to be very careful with where where I am gl gluing things. <laughs> okay. um, we had that under there, didn't we? Okay, right. Bead of glue here. So yeah, there are definitely easier ways to do journal covers. Definitely. <laughs> Than what I'm doing right now but uh, yeah I just uh, I wanted to have fun with it where do we have that yeah yeah I wanted to have fun with it um and for it to be yeah like you know like a lady is just putting a lot of mementos down on her scrapbook and then inside she's gonna have even more mementos. That's the, the look I was going for. Do we have that? Don't think that. Not that. Sorry, mumbling. I'm just reminding myself where I actually had things. Okay. I want that over, over there. And then we had this piece at the bottom, didn't we? So that is a top layer piece. So we want this, this one first. I could prefer that edge, like that. And then we have this. Oops. This. Yeah, it's just a case of just, yeah, layering things up until until you're happy, really. Um, to be honest, it didn't take me long to decide what I was having and where. Um, I had uh, looked at this cover a few times, and when I was, you know, looking through my scraps, I was just, yeah, as you've just seen me do, just simply popping things on, and it just, it just, it just became something, it just did. Um, and I think the best thing with this is to not overthink it, you know, I think whatever you end up with will look really beautiful. And unique, I mean, how many other covers are there out there like this one? Plenty with lace, plenty with collaging, I'm sure, but we all do things differently and so this is really a very one of the kind cover. Which I really like. So I'm going to glue the top half of th this, which should catch. Oh no, I don't. I don't want to glue. Yeah, I'll just go up here and along there so that it catches those papers, but I don't end up gluing it down where I don't want it. Alrighty, we're getting somewhere, aren't we? And the great thing is with covers like this, you can always add more to it if it doesn't come out quite the way that you wanted. Like for example, I need that in there. I think I want that in there, don't I? Excuse me, paper, sorry. I think I wanted that more over there, but no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, 
Why do I want you? I think there would be nice. So let's get this one on. I'm sure there were probably easier ways to do this kind of a cover. As I say, I've not I've not built a cover up like this before, so I'm just seeing what happens really. Let's just whoop, make sure I'm not sticking it to anything just yet, because I'm not I'm not ready for that step. Let's just make sure we're in we're in the right place. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Right, what's next? Um, we had this little scrappy bit here, didn't we? Underneath. So let's do that. Um, so we want to glue, glue it along here. Just so that it doesn't end end suddenly, because I am using little scraps. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those covers, isn't it, where you're thinking, "Well, I'm not going to be able to replicate that, Justine." But I do hope you're you're getting something out of this, even if you're just enjoying, you know, seeing it come together. So I certainly am, with all the prettiness. Right. How are we doing? Okay, so that's that. Uh, uh, where are we up to? So is that all of the papers? I believe so. Okay. So this is where we want to position them. How we like. Um, I don't want that hanging over. I want that nicely. It's like a corner, a corner piece or something. As I say, it's the brooch in the middle that really makes it, I think. Bit of bling. So I want to, I'm using that as a guide then to tell me where, where I want things because I want to make sure I'm covering up strange edges of papers is what I'm, I'm hoping hoping to do. with the, you know, the little embellishments and things. Yeah, I do feel like, yeah, we definitely, I mean, we might not, but maybe something there might be nice. Now I wish, I want to cover up where I didn't come quite down with that check. I do want to cover that if I can. Which means being something like that instead. I think is fine. Right, okay, so I think we probably want to do the stitching now. So, what I'll do first then is see. these are the bits that I need to be stitched. So, one thing that I wanted to do was stitch the brooch onto the, the, the uh, seam binding because what I've done is I've basically just like looped looped under and I feel like I want to stitch around the bar so that it's you know nicely well on there but I'll do that after because <laughs> I'm going to confuse myself. Right let's get this stitched together. So I've just got some embroidery floss here which 
should work just fine. I think we will just stitch these layers together with the button and then we will just glue this piece down uh, when we come ready to finish the cover. I think that's what we will do. Just go through that a couple of times. So yeah, as I say, this is type of cover. It's just a case of just, yeah, deciding what you want to have or, you know, using, you d decide on your scraps, choosing your scraps and then just go in for it. And just, yeah, layer it up. Um, the one thing that I have tried to do is tones wise, you could probably see it's a little bit blush coloured. There's white in there, there's blues, you know, even the bow matches you know and I've kind of tried to um, to follow my eyes with you know I've got white here so I wanted white there to mirror that I had blue and blue we've got this with this that kind of a thing that's that's the only useful information I could possibly give you as to how that has come together um, Sorry, my hubby was just coming in to tell me he was off to the he's off to the, the shops today. He is doing the food shopping. It's just because he wants to go um during the day rather than we normally go in the evening when it's a bit quieter. But I think he wants to get a nice baguette for lunch, so he said he will go off now and get something for that and well, I'm gonna stay here with you guys. <laughs> um Okay, so yeah, I think that then, uh, when we're ready, we'll then just glue glue that whole big flower onto the papers. That will be fine. That will get glued on. I'm not stitching that. So that's that and that. Um, now, I definitely want to put at least some thread through the buttons. I would prefer to stitch them onto the lace, I think. Um, because otherwise... I would just be worried that they would be like a vulnerable point. So where do we want them to be? That is the question. I feel like I've gone a little bit skew if with this topper. I have a bit, but does it matter? Probs not. Um, yeah, it does look a bit, <laughs> it's a bit skew if. I don't know if I can. What is skew if here? Something skew if. Because I'm looking at it from an angle, I think. But does it matter? It doesn't matter, Justine. Right. Um, I think we would be something like that. So then I'm thinking these buttons can then sit nicely in that little slope from the tag. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just, I'm umming and ahhing because I'm trying to think how best to do this. To get all the pieces securely down in the place that I want them to be. Right, so, um, MDMDM. MDM. Okay. Right. We know we want that one there. Ish. Okay. I'm going for it always be uh, taken off if it's in the wrong place. I'm just going to go through it a few times so it's nicely securely on there. As I say it's just because it's going on the cover so I want it to be nice and secure. So I'd love to know if you've ever done a collaged cover in this kind of a way where it's just a massive stuff um, yeah I'd love to know and I'd love to see it so if you have done one please do point to me where I might be able to see it because uh, layers for me are not easy um, I feel like this has come together really nice but generally speaking I, I, I do normally struggle a little bit with things so yeah, I would just love to 
love to hear from you and get some inspiration. So I'm trying to think my next move, what is my next move with this cover? I wanted to have a look at uh, button, uh, scrappy button clusters to see whether we want anything like that on the front and I've completely knotted <laughs> that up completely, what have I done? Okay. I've got that button on there. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I was going all over the place. Um, all right, final button then. Just I'm keeping placing the lace on the cover just to make sure that it's, you know, going to to fit and everything. And uh, yeah, I need to I need to decide what the next move is. It's like a chess game. <laughs> what, what comes next? Speaking of which, uh, my husband, so my husband does 3D printing as his business, like he prints models and things. He printed us a chess set and uh, we've never played chess together before. My brother taught me where the pieces go, like what their moves are when I was about 10. Um, but this was the first time my husband and I have played it together and it's our first time ever for us both where we weren't just moving pieces where we know they can go. It was, you know, being trying to be strategic with with what we were doing. And it was a lot of fun. I never thought I would say that about chess, but it was lots of fun. And um, we're currently drawing with, I think we've both won, or maybe he's won three games and I've won two games, something like that. Um, so, you know, we're giving each other a run for our money type of a thing. So, yeah, so now that is just a whole one big piece and I can even get in some extra glue in. Um, that makes it a lot easier for this type of cover now where I can glue the whole thing down. Um, you know, after I've done some stitching. Right. Yeah, so we want that sort of in the nook just there. We will glue this down. I know I keep placing everything back where, you know, here or there and everywhere, but it's just because it helps me to visualise how things are going to, to look. So, somewhere here. That was just to soften, soften the edges here a little bit whilst bringing in a bit of extra prettiness and interest. So that is ready for figuring out where on earth we stitch. The next job is to figure out the closure um, with my gorgeous brooch. I just keep looking at the sparkles and I've gone for this one because I would never use black. Never. For this, works perfectly. Because um, obviously we want it to be flat like this. So I think we're just going to stitch it. Let's just do it. <laughs> Sorry if I just knocked you just then. Okay, I don't know what this will look like in terms of uh, stitching it right, I don't know. We're just going to find out. So let me... So I'm just using the same floss because I know it's, you know, strong and whatnot. I might end up gluing the closure. I'll tell you what I might do actually. I might go around the pin and then just thread that under. So we've got still a piece on each side, but that just gives it extra protection, I think. Like that. Yeah, let's do that. And then <laughs> find somewhere to stitch it somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to decide, I don't know whether to glue the closure onto the cover, like some of the ribbon or something, but um, they're not there yet, so. Let's, uh... And because you won't see this part, we can just essentially go to town with 
stitching it. I think it will still slide a little bit though, won't it? I don't know really. Just making it up. <laughs> Make it up as we go along, is that is that that's how we all do things, right? I don't mind if it moves around a little bit, I just don't want it moving around lots and lots because I like it as a focal point. I really hope you're getting something out of this video. Uh, uh, as I say, no kind of tutorial or information I can possibly give you, just simply get your scraps out, have fun get a pretty brooch <laughs> or jewellery or something and before you know it you've you've got a cover it's been fun it's been really fun to do a cover like this where you know we're just starting with the base and just building it up it's been really fun I'll definitely do that again okay I don't think that is like properly secure or anything worries me a little bit. I really thought that would be a better job being stitched on there but I don't know if it's, can't be sure that's even actually done anything really. Just have to go with it won't we? I mean the worst comes to worst is if it comes off you just put it back on the, uh, it just gets put back on the, the ribbon. It's not, not the end of the world. I think that's secure enough. If I don't tear it. So let's cut that there. Um, did I have another piece? Where's the other piece? Do I? I've lost the other end. So yeah, that is how I do my sewing. <laughs> I just simply make it up as I go along. And yeah, eventually we get something. Hopefully. As I say, I did want that more on, on there a bit better. I don't know. I don't really want to go through the brooch, as in like I, there's holes in the brooch where you could do the stitching. I don't really want to do that for this one because I really want that stitching to be hidden. What we could do is add a spot of glue just to keep that in place let's try that can but try isn't it i'm just putting a bit of glue because i don't want the glue to show on the other side because it will be shiny mess don't want that Just enough to catch, catch the ribbon. All right. I think this is gonna look gorgeous when we're finished. It's just one of those, you just gotta take your time with it ones. Okay, so it will be somewhere there, somewhere there. And then this will be, oh, a fancy pants closure. Oh, see, it, it really is, isn't it? It's the uh, it's that ribbon that really just makes it. So, question is, what is next? Um, I need to think about where I'm going to do stitching, or whether I am or not. I can't decide. The reason I'm torn is because I just like it the way that it is, but I want it to be really secure and I'm trying to work out whether glue is enough because the lace is holy like the glue will seep through to the actual book board which we which would be good it's obviously what we want um but with the stitching you just get that extra layer of protection the reason I'm putting it off is because I personally am not a fan of you know random stitching 
I like it when other people do it. When I do it, it just looks random. <laughs> um, so for example, if I were to put some stitching here like this, this corner, it just, I don't think it would look right me doing it. So I don't want to do stitching, to be honest. I like it the way that it is. And I don't want the stitching to be, like, you can't take back the stitching once you've stitched through paper. So, I don't want to. <laughs> um. <laughs> Put my foot down. I don't want to. I just want to ink that, though, because I realised I didn't ink the tag before putting that down, did I? Help! I don't know what's next. <laughs> What's my next move? I don't know. Um, right, whilst I think, I can be getting in some extra glue in where it's needed. So now that we're a full topper piece, we can come in here with that extra glue. Sorry, I'm just thinking away here, thinking what is, what's the plan? What is the plan? But yeah, I think that was the right thing to do with regards um, having it be just this whole, this whole big topper piece. I do think that has, that has worked. I want to put some glue, glue here. I think with the beacon it will be fine. Mm. Just glued on. As I say, just as long as I'm, I'm catching all the bits. I'm hesitating, aren't I? I don't want to glue it down yet. I might need to take a moment because I can feel myself stalling. With okay, so yeah, the um, I had a look at a button cluster down here, but it was just competing with this piece. So I've got this Tim Holtz label, and because it's circular, I feel like it's balancing out this piece, these, and bringing in yeah a circle there we've got kind of thing going on I feel like that just finishes off that space and if somebody wanted they could if they wanted to write like use this as the book plate and you know write the name of the journal or their name or or something if they so choose So, glue that there. I'm stalling because the next moment is to commit. Right, so I think I've established I don't want to do the stitching. I, I just don't. <laughs> so, we want to glue this piece on. And I feel like I want to glue the topper on before gluing these final embellishments so that we can be sure we've got them in the right place. So I think the easiest thing will be to put glue on the back of this. Right, this is officially committing now. <laughs> going to get all, all of everything <laughs> and I'm hoping that will go through the lace and onto the book behind. Mm. 
And I'm just gonna stretch the lace a bit. I'm sure there was probably an easier way to have done this cover, but here we are. We have committed. And once we've got everything on, it's gonna look gorgeous, I know it. And if we have to, we might have to put some extra glue on, because that's kind of stuck, but not really. That's fine. Okay, um, and then this piece. So again, got plenty of glue on it. I'm using the beacon because um, I trust it more than other glues, and I don't like to use hot glue because. I feel like with hot glue you get a load of extra like bumps. Oops. Which I'm not sure I would want. <laughs> right, where are you going? You're going that way. So I'm just trying to use the flower as a way to hide edges of things, edges of papers. Kind of like you would if you were doing a collage and you would put a sticker down or something. Oh, it feels so weird to commit. <laughs> feels so strange. Good, but very strange. <laughs> As I say, I just I wanted it to be elegant scrapbook. That's the look we're going with. I still need a name for my lady. I like Rose, Rose's scrapbook. And there are roses inside, so, as in the actual flower. So we would want this to be here. Again, I'm just trying to hide the edges of things so everything kind of blends together. Um, now, what I would really like is to be able to glue this, this on, the cover. That's what I really want to do because it's just, it's part of, it's part of it. And I don't want this whole piece to be removable. So what I'm thinking is, Using the glue, Oops. As I say, because it is part of the collage in in my view, this brooch and what have you. So I wouldn't I wouldn't want that to be like removed, removed. have to go in with a bit of extra glue in places but so then that will come around the side and tie in a bow okay what do you think so far <laughs> we're getting there aren't we I'm being hesitant because obviously yeah I want to be I want to be really happy with it Right, so question is, are we actually stuck down 
for the most part we are we just want to sneak in with some extra glue in so uh, I have a feeling I will probably need to leave the video there although I would really like you to see it completely finished but I'm just sneaking with this in with some extra glue and then what I'll need to do is obviously trim the lace to the size of the book cover excuse me if you can see my head just want to come in here do the final trimming and then what I would like to do is get it onto the onto the book like you know onto the rings so we can confirm <laughs> hopefully that we're happy with it This is really neat sharpening. Slash, really, I should treat myself to a new pair of scissors to be honest. Oh, and I do want to glue those buttons down, don't I? I know, I know, the video is probably dragged on, but it might be helpful for some of you to see, like, my thought process for what I'm doing. So I'm just putting some lace on the back of the buttons. Um, some glue on the back of the button, sorry, because that will just get those down nicely and secure that bit of lace without showing the glue through the lace. Like that. Okay, right, let's not cut the closure. Let's um, <laughs> get that out of the way. Okay, are you ready for, this is the moment of truth. Right, we're on. <laughs> I don't know why that is so, so tricky. Now it might be that I need bigger rings and whatnot, but let's just see. So we've got our closure. Whew, the moment of truth then, right. Um, want to make sure it's on there nice. Hmm. What I might also want to do is glue glue the closure onto the back cover, maybe. Not sure. I don't need to make that decision yet, do I? Right, there we go. Right, I don't want a huge huge boo. Wow. Yes. Yes, I think so. I think I might need some bigger rings. Sorry. I'm hogging it to myself. I need to show you, don't I? What do you think? So yeah, we definitely need a little bit of extra glue in just in places, I think. I don't mind flappy lace, but I feel like maybe we just want to be there we are oh my goodness I'm really happy with that cover but yeah that was that was a mission <laughs> that was a mission wasn't it to 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 get that done but that has come together really really nice I think I love it it is exactly what I wanted for the vibe of the journal so please help me name the lady what's her name <laughs> I like Rose, I like Charlotte, so the name of the journal is Ladies Name Scrapbook, so uh, Rose's Scrapbook, Charlotte's Scrapbook, a name like that, what do you think? Sorry, I'm just uh, deciding this bow, I just peeled it up because I didn't want, I didn't want it to be totally flat, you know, it is a 3D bow. Just wanted a little bit of uh, a 
extra thing so I've just glued the two ends here like that so the the middle sticks up I'm really really happy with that what do you think would you be happy for this to ah <laughs> uh, it's lovely I'm really happy with that I, I enjoyed that cover very much it was a mission I think to get there um, and there are things that I would change but for the most part it's what I wanted um, I don't even think I need book corners to be honest um, because the, the book cover is is neat enough um, so I might add book corners Oops, I've got things poking out everywhere but yeah and then I just need to decide whether I should be having the this glued onto the back like that and I think the answer is probably yes so that the, the closure then is completely completely on there I'm done <laughs> I will leave it there I'm sorry if the video is very long and I've got masses of seam binding here but I wanted to have yeah best to have too much than not enough um, so I can probably just I'm still keeping them long so that the journal has growth in it because we've not um we've not done the embellishing yet um i've got like most of the pockets where i want them to be like paper clipped in but we've not done embellishing so that's fine yeah it's got it's got growth in in that closure so i will leave it there <laughs> i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed watching the process even if it was a bit just umming and ahhing but um that was that, that's how i do collage it's just yeah you build it up until you're happy and hopefully it turns out to be something that you can be really 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 ridiculously proud of and I would say I'm feeling that way about this one definitely all right then well thanks so much for joining me and hanging out um you kept me company so thank you for that and uh, I will see you on the next video uh, which for this one this journal will be um we'll do some filling pockets adding pockets embellishing and whatnot together I don't want that to drag on for too long uh, as a you know as a, as a video so we'll just do one video on that and then it will be the flip through amazing so thanks ever so much and everyone and i'll speak to you soon bye bye for now